In a wildlife park, a lion rushed towards a moving CA yard. IT jumped to the window of the car dot and roared at it. During this time it kept slapping the car, dot making a thump, thump, thump sound. Other tourists were terrified that they rushed to call dot the staff to tell them what was going on here. While people were still worried about the safety of the occupants, the car window suddenly came down dot, and the lion took advantage of the situation to stick its head in. People were terrified dot, those who reacted quickly had already dialed for help, confusingly. There were no calls for help from inside the car.as the door of the car was opened out a man came out, he stroked the lion's head. The lion looked like it was enjoying dot. the lion didn't attack the tourists in the car, they were so close. Did they know each other before? In 2003.AT the age of 24. Parker walked unsteadily after dinner, drunkenly. He was about to hail a taxi when he slipped and fell into the grass on the side of the road, rising from the ground. He was a little chagrined, but the pain in his buttocks had temporarily eased his drunkenness. He was about to prop himself up with his hands. But there was a strange sensation in his hands, what's so hard? Parker twisted his head to look, there was an iron cage dot in the grass, and the cage made occasional noises, Parker opened a torch dot and shone its light inside. He saw a small yellow dog trapped inside. Who would be so cruel dot as to leave such a cute puppy outside? Parker said angrily, there was silence all around, only Parker's voice echoing, Parker lifted the cage that he said to himself, maybe someone can't afford to keep it, and left it here on purpose. Looking at the poor little yellow dog, its cute look moved him, he decided to take it back. When Abby was a child, her family lived in the countryside and had a large wolf dog to guard the house, several times, some thieves had tried to dot break in late at night to steal things. All been scared off by the big wolf dog, sadly, the big wolf dog passed away. Since then, Abby has had no other animals in her heart, but her big wolf dog. After bringing the dog home, Dot Parker's wife said, Why not does this dog look a bit like a lion? Thinking his wife didn't want to keep the dog. Parker hurriedly explained, I've heard that some dogs even look like tigers when they're young. Animals all look the same at this age looked at Parker as he tried to explain, Abby knew he must love this puppy very much. So she agreed to keep it, they named it Huang, after keeping it for a while. They suddenly noticed that Huang was becoming more and more like a lion. So they took Huang in for a checkup, when they arrived at the zoo, before Parker could say anything. A staff came forward, this is an African lion, it's not supposed to be here, where did you get it? You could tell by the cold look in the staff's eyes, that he was ready to call someone. Parker and Abby rushed to explain the origins of Huang, the staff heard their account, and guessed roughly what had happened. The miscreants. were pursued while transporting this African lion. End. To destroy the evidence, they dumped it in the wilderness. As they drove away. What will you do with this lion? Faced with the question from the staff, Parker and Abby looked at each other. Dot gave the same answer in unison. Dot. Leave it to the zoo. Dot a lion is not a dog. They have no experience to raise a lion. Putting it in the zoo. Dot is the most responsible way for it. After leaving the lion in the zoo, Parker left. I in the summer of 2008. Dot a man with his wife and child. Dot drove his car. Dot around the zoo in Zhengzhou, Hunan Province. Mommy. Daddy is lying. There is no daddy's friend here at all. The man blushed with embarrassment. He was about to explain when a lion suddenly plopped down in front of the car. Is it you? Huang. Following the sound of his wife's voice, Parker also recognized the lion. It's Huang. It's it. Parker opened the car door dot and hugged Huang happily. How have you been? After all these years? Animals are smart, they will remember who is good to them dot, and who is bad to them dot. We humans should cherish every relationship dot, should not play around with them dot, just because they are animals. That's the end of today's story, click subscribe for more interesting stories.